Good afternoon, I'm Geo Environmental Atmosphere Forecaster Andrew Fleck. It is about 4.30 on the east and 3.30 on the central daylight time here. And what we are looking at is quite some active weather across the central half of the country. That's where our eyes are going to be focused on as we see some snow and some ice across the central and upper plains. Rather some thunderstorms got across Oklahoma, Texas and some heavy rain a little bit eastward from there. This is due to a series of low pressures and a few fronts some warm air and cold air fighting against each other and that believe it or not is going to push southward into Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas and even New Mexico, Colorado later Thursday and Friday. So we're going to just briefly show you what the current pattern setup is here, uh, give you just a few forecasts and uh, send you home with this information and give you much more detailed forecasts and updates later tonight. So currently what we have is three series low pressures. We have one across Missouri, and that is going to bring a warmer uh, southwesterly flow into Arkansas through Missouri, Illinois, the Ohio Valley states, and now entering Kentucky and Tennessee. And again, that really is more of where uh, it's more of a, a low pressure driven by warmer air. Now you do have some colder air and obviously some mix of going across Nebraska into Iowa, now entering Kansas. But again, that will move off to the northeast, and that will take that series of precipitation and exactly move that very much east. But we do then draw our eyes toward Oklahoma. That's where we have our second low pressure. And this is what currently, as of this time, is causing thunderstorms south of Norman and just north of Dallas. And that's going to continue, bring some heavy rain and even some thunderstorms. A few of those storms, I believe, could be severe, but we're not talking about a general outbreak. Or anything of that sort. And then our last low pressure here on the scale is one in the Colorado Mountains or central Colorado. And that's what's going to bring some precipitation into New Mexico, more into Colorado, and obviously Texas and western Oklahoma. And that, of course, is going to dig, as I said, southward. And that's going to bring some snow to some of those higher trained areas. And even some of those valleys could see some ice. And we're going to show you a bit of a forecast widget we have here in this model lab that's going to display some of those forecasts, especially for areas out there and even further east, which we just explained. But overall, the pattern is very active uh, for your Thursday, and it will continue into Thursday night and Friday. So we're going to use this very cool uh, forecast widget. We're just going to click on a few uh, cities here uh, just by random. We're going to show you what you're expected for rather... Uh, snow or rather rain and we're going to put our, our forecast nose right into about Wichita, Kansas here. Currently Wichita is 30 degrees and just to show you how powerful uh, this frontal uh, system is, uh, it's about 72 degrees in Dallas and it is 30 degrees in Wichita. So what a difference do you have? Uh, the difference of going a few miles toward it being 32 degrees and maybe 20 to 30 miles and it's 60 degrees. So obviously there's a powerful front occurring uh, across this area of the region uh, today. So clicking on Wichita, we're going to bring up a forecast widget here. And what this shows for Wichita is basically uh, it looks as though Wichita could pick up uh, total snows of half an inch uh, and even 0.05 of ice. And that's going to begin occurring uh, very later tonight through Thursday and into early Friday. That's something you guys want to really watch here. And temperatures will be around 25 to 30 degrees. So there is a potential that Wichita, you could have half an inch of snow, and that might just stick around and cause conditions to be quite icy. Uh, another area that we're going to look at here, uh, we'll do Oklahoma City. Why not? Oklahoma City on that warmer edge of the front currently. But Oklahoma City is expected to get a little bit of ice, not a lot, uh, just 0 0.05. And, of course, temperatures are going to be just about freezing or just above and that's the reason why we're not thinking a lot for that area but definitely things could get quite icy especially later Thursday and early Thursday morning that seems to be the time frame that we're looking at here uh, with what all forecasts are agreeing on uh, let's go to a few other cities here we have uh, Fountain Valley of Colorado Fountain Valley of Colorado looking to see a little more snow 2.3 inches beginning already at this time and last into the middle half of Friday. Temperatures are going to be between 10 and 20 degrees and then increasing throughout the weekend, which will be a good sign pushing those temperatures above the freezing mark. Uh, up in the areas that are already snowing, we'll do 
Norfolk, Nebraska. Norfolk, Nebraska is seeing a little bit of snow here. Currently it will continue and it will last into the late evening of Thursday. One inch is projected for these areas. Temperature is expected to be for the next few days uh, under the degree uh, freezing mark, which again is going to promote some snow and wintry conditions. A uh, few other areas that we're going to show you, uh, we'll do central uh, Iowa here. And as of currently, central Iowa is expected about half an inch of snow to an inch of snow. Temperatures are going to be very much below the freezing mark, and they're only going to get colder throughout the weekend. That trend that we're expected to uh, see then into the Great Lakes and Mid-Atlantic and Northeast through the weekend as well. But you guys are expected maybe a half an inch to an inch of snow. And, of course, uh, we'll even look at uh, where we have some of the heavy snow currently in Nebraska. And this is where... Uh, some of that snow that was just updated, uh, again, a lot of that fell before what is forecasted, but from now on this 3.30 or 4.30 time frame, wherever you are here, it will begin uh, to drop perhaps another half an inch to an inch. And a lot of this snow is occurring, and again, a lot of this is going to begin uh, moving off to the northeast. So will this heavy rain, but there will be this low pressure out here over Colorado that does take over. And it does begin to spawn some more snow. It does cool things down across Colorado, New Mexico, the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, later this evening. So you're definitely going to have to watch out for some icy conditions. Uh, that is a very, very good indication uh, of what we're seeing here in this overall very quick forecast video. Uh, we will have plenty of these out more uh, throughout later Thursday and into Friday. We'll come out with a few maps uh, forecasting of where we really think some of that accumulation could occur. I don't think we're talking about anything significant, but we're talking about maybe of a nuisance, half an inch of snow, one to three inches perhaps, uh, even a little more, but we find more of that accumulation to be over the higher, higher uh, of, of elevations. Excuse me. So that is really what we have. Again, stay tuned to Geoenvironmental Atmosphere at geoea.org. We do have the latest updates. We are using videos to make our forecast be projected out there much quicker for you to listen, for you to watch, and for us to speak. So thank you and enjoy the rest of your Thursday.